गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सर ज्योति एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ऑन टॉपिक ऑफ सोशल साइंस दट इज मैप्स ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू आर लेसन फर्स्ट लेट अस नो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैप्स ओके मैप्स इज नथिंग बट द रिप्रेजेंटेशन और इज द ड्रॉइंग ऑफ इयर सरफेस ऑन ए शीट once again i'm repeating the representation or else the drawing of earth's surface on a sheet is called map in this lesson we are going to learn about three types of maps they are thematic map physical map and political map okay first let us go with thematic map thematic map generally uh, specifies only one topic or else it uh, influences only one topic like different types of rainfalls different types of forests etc okay after thematic map we are having physical map physical map the other name of physical map is relief map okay so relief map generally uh, take care of or else the inbuilt thing of this uh, relief map is uh, mountains plateaus plains rivers and oceans okay the natural features come under physical maps after physical maps we are having political maps the uh, boundaries of states countries towns etc these all things come under political maps once again i'm repeating natural features come under physical maps uh, boundaries come under political maps any particular thing or else it specifies any particular topic then it comes under thematic map so after this we are having one more topic that is components of maps see generally components of maps is three they are distance direction and symbol first one is distance okay you all people know what is mean by distance uh, distance is nothing but the place we are have been and the place where we have to go the mean by distance the mean by uh, way we are passing through is called distance okay so distance have been calculated or its distance have been divided into two types they are small scale map large scale map small scale map large areas like oceans and continents have been shown on a small paper then that is called small scale map small areas like towns villages this have been shown in a small map small sheet then that is called large scale map if large areas have been represented in a sheet then it is called small scale map if small areas have been represented in a sheet then it is called large scale map okay after distance we are having symbol okay see i have been in this building and i wanted to draw this uh, whole map where i have been in a, um, i have wanted to draw this whole thing in a sheet to represent the map where i have been okay i can't draw this whole building in a map so i will represent this building as a small block okay the representation of this whole building into a small block into a small model that is called symbol okay i will say one real life example so whenever you are going on highways or whenever you are going on a roads a part of the road or else a side of a road you will see some green boards upon that you will see some exam you will see some symbols like po post office phc uh, uh, some health centers hospital symbol you will see phone phone symbol will be there this all symbols why they are giving this some symbols there they can't write that full description that this is phone number this is post office this all they can't write for that reason they have been concluded that it will be a small symbol and they have been given there okay the symbols will make easier it will make easier to understand us it will make our map to be effective okay so this symbols other name of this symbols is conventional symbols okay see while we are going on the roads uh, you will see some bridge symbols canal symbols this all symbols have been there so whatever the thing i said till now once again i will repeat it first i said about the definition of map it is map is nothing but a representation or drawing of your surface is called map after that i said three types of map that is thematic map physical map and political map thematic map generally specifies only one topic or else one thing that is called thematic map after that i said physical map physical map is nothing but it deals about natural features like mountains plateaus oceans rivers plains after that i said about um, political map political map generally deals about boundaries okay 